I'm Rob. I'm Joe. And this is Bodybuilding Body Grocery Bro Hall. <laughs> Remember, it's not a grocery hall. It's a bodybuilding grocery hall because we're on prep. And so I've flown in Joe from Manchester to coach me for this month and make sure I stay away from the peanut butter aisle. Consult with two fees. Or... So we're going to go inside. This is my first grocery haul while I'm on prep. So I'm going to show you guys what I get, maybe get some inspiration to your own grocery list. And we're also going to have a bit of fun. So let's get it. Mercadona, the best grocery store in Marbella. Let's smash it. Okay, so um, big trolley. I did the small trolley. It but I mean, do you leave it and get some stuff from other supermarkets? No, no, I do the whole thing. Do the whole thing here? Yeah, yeah, do the whole thing here. Fair enough. Supermercado in El Corte. Oh, yeah, that's a fancy one. That's like Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah. Do you call this Mercadona? Mercadona, yeah. Yeah, me too. I got called yeah, out. Mercadona. Everyone's saying it's Mercadona. No, who gives yeah. a fuck? Yeah. Man. First things first, we're going to need a lot of Vitro a Clan. A lot of Vitro <laughs> Clan, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fornos, Fornos. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should go to the Olympia. Okay, let's stop it now. All right, yeah, yeah. Just, just All right, so swerve all this. Yeah, swerve this shit. Right, so this is the what you don't do aisle. It's where you come when you decide to fuck your prep off. <laughs> Face plant into that one. Now, Joe, I know you like a baked good. Oh, I like a pan. Panaderia. Yeah. Panarella, whatever. It's some version of pan. Uh, it? porno. It's not a horno. <laughs> that is not it. That is not it. But one of the best parts when you're not on prep, grab one of these. Put it in the cutting machine. It's a good time, but today is not the day for that. Of course, there's nothing wrong with eating bread. It's just a carb source. Well, we're going for stuff that's more Never filling. Eat bread. <laughs> one. I'm gonna sabotage this whole thing. The satiety index, which I'll be referenced today, they basically rank what foods fill you up the most, what doesn't. At the bottom of the list was yeah. pastries. Yeah, pastry is yeah. just how you get the, the Euro physique one. Do you know what's worrying about the bread in Spain? It lasts for a very long time. That's just such, that's children's food. 14 year olds are. Oh, mate, if you're not getting the crusts, <laughs> you can't be friends with me. Can I ask you though? Yeah. You don't do skimmed milk, do they? So, leche de semi desidata means semi skimmed. Semi skimmed, right, yeah. So they do not here, but exactly. they do in other ones, yeah. they do desidata. So yeah. no one gives a shit, man. Yeah. These Europeans are wild. So first thing that we always get, these Natilla's creme, unbelievable. Yeah, creme. So good, 92 Proteins. calories. And these? These are unreal as well. Yeah, grab one of them actually. Right, so we got the yogurts and the variations. So they're all protein pudding yogurts. And then we got the big thing. Infomacial Nutricional. 52 calories per 100 gram, less than 0.5 fat, 3.1 carbs, 10 protein. That's literally unreal. I know, it's unbelievable. All the way to the bank. First thing in the trolley, the yogurts. New flavor, they're all right. Little bit sickly, this is what you want. And then these. I have no business being in sunglasses. Andrew Tate over here. Quite bright, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. All right, so next up, protein milk. Skim milk Isn't with protein milk? in it. Has it got extra protein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, good wax. Milk so. is protein milk? I know, man. I, I love milk. Per 100 mil, zero fat, four carb. Skim milk. Skim milk, zero That's fat, skim milk, right. four carb, six protein. Yeah, that is great. I get this every week. Does it taste like UHC milk? Nah, it you know like what? Long, long life shit. You no, know, you know the pro, put it in the fridge, the protein makes it thick. Ideal. Do we need one more of these or do we have some? Yes. Okay, we have some, but this liquid stevia, unbelievable. Get the liquid stuff. Worth the extra 50 cents. Nesquik? No. No. Not on the Nesquik? No. no. Okay. No. Coffee do you drink on? The double espressos. Yeah, yeah. I haven't so. got a pod machine in me. In me gap. I do nice. filter though, it's a drip one, it's good. Man. It means you can dose it yourself, which is worrying. So these are some that I get every week as well. Turkey sausages, super high protein, very low fat, very low carb. Have these with egg whites and it's like a pure protein meal. I need proof. to look at the ingredients on yeah. this. That's look, why you're here. It looks like worrying, here man. Specs. It's too pale for my liking. It's it looks like a children's hot dog party yeah. sausage, but... <laughs> that didn't sound wrong at all. That sounded better. <laughs> All right, why is cottage cheese so good? Ah, uh, it's just folklore, isn't it? That yeah. if you eat cottage cheese at night, you get big. Yeah, they, they used to say that because they, it has casein. casein slow, slow release protein, all that kind of shit. I fell for it. See it with something else. Yeah, See I it fell with for fiber, it. and it'll be slow to release anyway. You know what I mean? Very good topic. In a typical mixed diet, when you're looking at a foods with fiber, protein, carbs, fat, if you mix them all together, it completely changes the digestion. So people get caught up in fast, slow proteins and carbs. It doesn't really matter. Total daily intake for the win. These, Lomo. Yeah, I've got some of them on. Pretty Unbelievable. Smoky. It just went through a pack before it came yeah. on, actually. So I snack on these pretty much every day. Because these ones, with like they're just like pure fat. These ones are particular, pure protein, zero fat, zero carb. Why am I pushing this trolley? The trolley pusher. Huevos. So Clara's the huevos, is egg whites. In Ireland, these are so hard to get. Here, they're and they're so expensive. 
Here, 295, 3 euro for a liter, so two of them. Surely, is that because like everyone like tortilla, right? I guess so. Tortilla? Yeah. Out of egg whites. Yeah, this kind of tortilla. You know, is that like, not a whole egg? Man, it's a bit too yellow to be egg you know, whites. Greasy so, half live chicken leg. We're gonna stock up on the basics. It is fillet steak and some chicken breast. These are the leanest cuts you can get right here. And you also get a good amount as well. So it's in the trolley. Chicken feet are also worthwhile as well. Oh my. What you do is you dip them in cottage cheese and just suck it off. I'm eating them in like Chinese places and that. It's like a foot to be fair. It's exactly how you imagine it. It's not great. I wouldn't recommend it. Like joints and tiny little bones. And I feel like dark should be less calories, I but know, it's not. It's not, it's actually the milk chocolate that's low calories, no, but this is very filling, satiating. You gotta add a bit of flavor to your diet, so this is going in. Zero, zero azucar. So next up, something I'm gonna be eating every single day, it's protein oats, Copos de Avena. So we usually get this, 500 grams. That's actually not too bad. It's really good, I've got some, yeah, 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 some yeah. real man. It's a nice like compromise between eating some fiber and eating chocolate stuff. Yeah. So we finally got a microwave so we can now indulge in some uh, yeah. basmati rice, quinoa, is that how you know Nova. someone's got money, man? Yeah. This lad's doing too well. <laughs> Sack of rice, rice cooker, portion it all. I don't have time, man. man time do, is man. money. Time is money. So we're going to go for this. Brown rice. But integral. It's all oh, the same. That's what, yeah, 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 integral. It's definitely not brown, is it? It means something, though. It means like whole meal whole. or something. Integral, like whole. a whole, a yeah, whole yeah, part yeah, of yeah. your system. That makes sense. People are like, oh, how do you like find living in Spain? Is there a language barrier? Man, half it's the same. Banana. Banana. <laughs> That's pineapple. That's French pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Frozen food section, of course. Frozen food, people think, oh, it's bad for you. It's frozen, it's processed. It's actually better for you. It's called snap freeze. You freeze it the second that it's harvested and it actually locks in more nutrients. So frozen vegetables, big yes. And I also don't go off. Like, you've all seen that meme where it's like the bottom of your fridge. I'll put it on the screen. Get frozen veg, it's great. Frozen rice, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Walk Asiatico. Unbelievable yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, I've got one of them in the freezer. Unbelievable, so tuna steak, and nice. again, the macros on this. Zero fat, zero carb, 19, 19, 20 grams of protein. Unbelievable, is that like, look at that. Like you can just tell by looking at it. It's like pure red muscle. It just doesn't get leaner than that, so delicious as well. Zero fat, zero carb, 14 protein. Unbelievable. What do you think of prawns? I fucking love a prawn. There you go. So two of these, gone straight in the basket. Me and Linda, when we're having like a rice dish with some sweet chili, have one easy. Lots of garlic, lots of chili, and zero fat, zero carb. Oh. <laughs> Long crabs one, that's sick. How would you eat that? Probably throw it against the wall. <laughs> And just fucking pick up the pieces with chopsticks. Huh? Scallops, right? Mm. Love a scallop. Claw puts <laughs> me off. That's not a claw. How is that not a claw? That's not a claw. What? It's you red. See the scallops. You know what? That's a scallop. The scallop that comes out of a, a shell, man. That is a claw. That's just the thing that attaches, man. That looks like a crab's claw. Oh, that's a scallop. Scallops do not have claws. On Either way, they, this, is not, this is not going in the trolley. This is not part of the prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love these wraps. 170 calories in one of them. Pretty solid. Thing is, I, I eat a lot of them. I'm going to go for them. It's early on prep. We'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be all right. A lot of protein, a little bit of hot sauce. Filling. I had some tacos last night, but they were gluten free. And I think you need the gluten, man. You need the gluten for the keep stretch. It, keep it all Isn't together. It? Yeah. Otherwise, it like breaks and yeah. that. You get a sharp bit of chicken. Next minute, you're leaking taco all over the show. The gluten, as the name suggests, is the glue. Yeah, keeps exactly. Out, keeps everything together. I love glue. It's just German for glue. It's actually a protein. So we don't need oranges because we have a massive orange tree in our back yeah. garden and they're literally perfect. They're like the best oranges you can get. Got potatoes at home. The Irish always keep potatoes stocked. Yeah. Plus, uh, yeah, go on. Never have enough potatoes. True. <laughs> Name that. Yucca. So I had a thing on my story where I made yucca fries. Ball like to make. Tastes amazing though, but everyone said there's like poison in them and it's gonna kill me. That was like a year ago. That makes I'm like, sense. I'm still okay. Oh. Pack strawberries. Four euro. Strawberries are good over here, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, the fruit here is just the best. Like. Hang on. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm for breakfast. For coming shopping with me. Would you like this as yeah, a gift? Yeah, I'd love it, yeah, okay. yeah. Right, I've got gotcha. some at home, but I'll have yeah. more. Payment in dates, they're expensive to be fair. They are, fiber, invoice. Do you want to get these? <laughs> Yeah, lots of grapes as well. Kickstart the uh, metabolism yeah. with some chili. So I'm mad for spicy food. I find when I'm dieting and I have like hot sauce, peppers, really spicy stuff, I find it more satisfying and filling. So lots of these. Eggplant, aubergine, yeah. tomato, tomato. Great in the air fryer. These in for the whole tub of this, for the whole box of this, insanely low calories. Like I think this is the most voluminous thing you can eat. Pumpkin. One of them. Yeah, pumpkin. So Insane. So much fiber. Delicious. Roast the fuck out of it. Air fryer. Air fryer. Everything there. Peppers. We got grapes, more odd shaped vegetables. It's 
Courgette. In case anyone breaks into your house. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Proteinos. something to look forward to while we're on prep. 389 calories per pint, so I will eat one of these at the end of the day and it'll just make me happy, it'll make me satisfied. 25 grams of protein in this, so we're getting two of them. It is banana brownie. I love banana ice cream. Do you like banana ice cream? I like... Uh See, I'm, I'm a bit like stuck up about me ice cream to be honest. I like a, I like an authentic banana ice cream. This is a very artificial banana flavory. Yeah. Well, what so do if you, you like foam bananas, then you're gonna like it, but can get a bit much. The fake natter, <laughs> unbelievable. I think we've got some super natters yeah. in. So Linda eats these Ooh. in one of these. They're actually pretty good. Like I probably won't have these. I'll probably go for the other one. But they're 150 calories per the whole thing. Something to incorporate into your diet if you're just taking things easy. Really good. And you're done. Style, San Miguel's. Yeah. On this channel, we started off with the poverty soda and we're still on the poverty soda. You gotta make up for the posh rice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't, you can't just be balling out yeah, left, yeah. right and center. Two monsters left. That is absolutely miserable. You usually get the full pack. What can you do? That's bullshit. The caffeine-free Coca-Cola, which are so good at night. So again, we have the kind of ice creams and this to have in the evening because you know, no caffeine doesn't mess my sleep and that helps me stick to my diet so much more just having something normal to look forward to at the end of the day all right so last thing we're again we're probably gonna have this for lunch it is the sushi from mercadona I have all the calories listed there again like you can pretty much eat anything within reason it's got decent macros but as long as you know what you're eating and there's nothing kind of snuck into it like let's say if you're in a restaurant or something i would eat sushi from here faster than i'd eat sushi from a restaurant because you just know what's in it that's pretty much like the aim of the game when you're on prep is just to know what you're taking in. Ready? Yeah. It's gonna last, last you 12 weeks. So usually our typical grocery haul is about 90 euro. This came to 158 euro because it was a big one and there's a lot of stuff that we had to get and steak, prawns, the dates, just sent it over what the happens edge. when you don't get the rice, man? Yeah. You got the cheap rice, cheap pineapple. <laughs> It was value, the rice was at 58 euro. Under yeah. 100 though. We're gonna pack things up and get on with the day. First, we're gonna go over three foods that we cannot diet without. All right, Joe, when you are getting absolutely ripped, looking like a Greek statue, which you are known for, especially when you had the hair, what are, <laughs> what are three foods that you cannot diet without? Number one is probably oats. Oats with like an unsweetened almond milk. They're going pretty far for the calories, man. Do you know what I mean? Number two would be white potatoes. Just like boiled potatoes. And your volume in. But I think they're officially like the most satiated. They are, are which like is funny. Fucking chart, right? Yeah, because people always think like sweet potatoes, Well, rice. sweet potatoes is a bit different in it because it is a bit high cal sweet potato, but yeah. still probably worth it, you know what I mean? Number three, I would just go for general like fruit. Apples, shit like that. Obviously apart from bananas, because bananas pack a punch, man. Pineapple as well. It's in, it's in the Ananas yeah, family. I would say, yeah, I would, yeah, I would say berries specifically. Strawberries you can eat pretty much forever. You, That's there's true. no limit on strawberries. Man. Ideally, like you should get most of the way through a cut without being hungry, really. Maybe when you're absolutely shredded, like you, you should, you know, you're gonna spend like an hour or two hungry before each meal, whatever. But like, it shouldn't be extreme. You know what I mean? If, if it's extreme and you, you Fucked up, like. I think it was your brother who spoke about food focus. When you get like super lean, it's like you're working out yeah, and all you yeah, can think yeah. of is, is your next meal. So that's something that happens when you get like extremely lean. But if you make the right choices, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So my three foods, they were like pretty much all of them. If I was to choose three other ones, okay, number one for me, it's gonna be whey protein. It's gonna be protein powder because I can add it to oats. It's convenient. It adds flavor to your diet and it's very filling. There's actually a study they gave some people like some sort of powder with nothing in it and send them into a buffet. They give the other people protein powder. Obviously people ate less when they have yeah, some protein yeah. in their stomach. So if I just do that like before a meal or before my next meal, before eating out, I find my appetite goes away. I find dairy very filling. Just Number one, them, one, just send us into the buffet. Yeah. Let's see if there's any in Marbella. Give me protein. I want to be the one with the protein though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine they gave you the glucose or powder. do I? Because then I'll eat less buffet. <laughs> This is a fucking quite the uh, quite the quagmire. The quagmire. <laughs> yeah, quite the quandary. <laughs> so my number two is quagmire. gonna be. It's not a quagmire. It's not a no, quagmire. Not no. a quagmire. <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm a quagmire. <laughs> number two is gonna be chicken breast. It is just an OG classic, high protein, low fat, low carb food, and it goes with everything: salads, wraps, chicken burgers, whatever you want. So that's something that I have a lot. If I'm gonna actually choose one, something different, and something that I just had in that grocery haul, it's 
it's going to be pumpkin and squash. Yeah, squash I'm telling you, have that with some steak, yeah. some broccoli. It's a big ass meal. So we just did a little cruise at Port of yeah. News. Drop off Joe and thank you to my coach for coming in. We paid him with the dates. Yep. And so Joe is here for the whole month. Expect some training videos and some other cool content coming. Peace. Leia. Hope everyone enjoyed some classic vibes from the duo. Prep series off to a flying start with an appearance from the one and only Joey D. But before we finish up, I just want to mention that Alfleet are having their eighth birthday sale with up to 80% off selected items. This sale is on par with their Black Friday sale, so make sure you don't miss out. We're all going to look so on point for the upcoming summer shred. New gym gear just gets you motivated to hit the gym. It just does. On top of that, Code Lips, it will get you another 10% off the sale. And I'm also picking two people who use Code Lips to send a $250 gift card to. So it's $500 I'm giving away in total. Just screenshot your order receipt and send it to me. You can DM it to me on Instagram or email to me, whatever is easiest. Thanks for watching, people. See you in episode three.